I'm Jamie Costello with your WMAR 2 News update. A portion of one of Maryland's freeways is now dedicated to a fallen firefighter. We're talking about a portion of 404 right between Down Station Road and Sadoff Road. Governor Hogan says this part of the road will now honor the life of Assistant Fire Chief Daniel Lister. Daniel Lister was killed in that area back in September of 2018 while responding to a call. He joined the Queen Anne Hillsborough Fire Company back in 2002, also served as the risk manager for Queen Anne's County. Maryland's one of the most vaccinated states in the nation. 65% of people in Baltimore having at least one dose. The city's positivity rate is 3.1% over the last seven days. Compare that to the state, which is above 5%. Mayor Brandon Scott talked about the progress this city is making now. A lot of that work was done after the mass vac sites because we know the transportation access and the other things that we have taken it to uh, the individuals and residents has made it more accessible and uh, working with our community partners to break down the barriers is how we got to this point. And officials in Baltimore are working to stop the spread and since the middle of summer, we have seen more than a 12% jump in the number of African Americans getting the vaccine. All right, this weekend you can head over to the Baltimore County Arts Guilds Arts and Drafts Festival. It's happening at the Open Gate Brewery, and today the brewery revealed two limited edition beers for the event. So what can you expect from the art? We're going to have over 50 artists exhibiting, selling their works. We're going to have glass blowing and other uh, demonstrations. We're going to have a family friendly uh, uh, interactive creativity zone and then we'll have uh, obviously live music throughout the weekend on the festival stage. And they'll also have beer drinking which is an art. It, it kicks off tomorrow with a concert featuring Chris Jacobs and the great Kelly Bell Band. That's going to be at 730. Tickets are required. The deadline for advanced tickets midnight. Same day tickets may be available online for 25 bucks plus fees. Yeah, it's looking a little slippery for the morning drive. We're talking about some scattered showers early morning and then cloudy skies lingering for the afternoon. I think those clouds will help keep things a little bit cooler in the upper 70s for most of the afternoon, but I do think we'll crest near 82 here in the city of Baltimore, 81 in Columbia and Annapolis, 78 though in Stevensville. That's going to be the cooler spot in the state. And then we're looking at more rain chances, unfortunately, for your Saturday and Sunday as temperatures, well, they're going to be ticking upwards up to 90 degrees by Sunday. Hang it out in the lower 90s through the middle of next week with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also, for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.